Dizzy Stadium. And now the players finally cross the line and enter into the field. The Venezuelan referee. Alexis Herrera Hernandez taking the ball of the game. Both teams with a coat, so it's a little bit chilly in Uruguay. No one. Wants to get the goal, so. a continuación himno de Brasil. And now the national anthem of Brazil. National anthem of Brazil, and now it's time for the national anthem of the local team, Uruguay. The field looks very nice, huh? In a really good shape. And now, the national anthem of the local team, Uruguay. Maybe some trouble with the track. Piazza Focus. Already knows. But the uh, qualifiers of Conmebol are. Was the coach of Argentina in the qualifiers to the World Cup in 2002 in Korea, Japan. Argentina ended in the first place of that qualifiers. And now here is the national anthem of Uruguay. Well, still with some trouble. Okay, here we go. Let's take places.
collapse after the national anthem of Uruguay. The players say hi to each other and with the referees also. Federico Valverde is the captain for Uruguay. And here is the lineup of the local team. Uruguay, Rochet is the goalkeeper. The defenders, Nathan Nandes, Araujo, Cáceres, and Olivera in the midfield. Ugarte, the captain Valverde, and Nicolás de la Cruz. And three strikers, Pelistri, Araujo, and Darwin Núñez. The 11 players selected by Marcelo Bielsa. The referee is Alexis Herrera from Venezuela. And the assistant, the first one, Alberto Ponte, also from Venezuela. And the second one, Anthony Garcia. All of them from Venezuela. The fourth referee, Jose Argote. The par. Juan Soto and the assistant bar, Carlos Lopez. Like I say, all of them from Venezuela. Casemiro with Valverde, both captains. And let's see who had the kickoff. Bielsa. Waving with the coach of Brazil, Fernando Diniz. And this is the lineup from the away team Brazil, Ederson, the goalkeeper. The defenders, Jan Couto, Marquinhos, Gabriel Magalhães and Carlos Augusto. In the midfield, Bruno Guimaraes, Casemiro and Neymar. And in the front, Rodrigo, Vinicius and Gabriel Jesus. The starters from Brazil. This is going to be the second match for Fernando Diniz. The bench of Brazil. Second match of an away team. The last word between the players of Uruguay. Same thing by the Brazilian players. Araujo praying and looking to the sky. Neymar now talking with the referee. And the fans. Waving to the camera, of course. Ready to see some football here in Uruguay. All set, and the referee blows the whistle. Brazil with the ball. The match is on. The qualifiers of Cornwall on the way to the next World Cup. 2026, USA, Canada, and Mexico. That's the goal. For Uruguay and for Brazil. Brazil. With some risk. Moving the ball. In the defensive area. Ederson with Marquinhos. And Marquinhos. Now with Gabriel Magalhães. The ball to Rodrigo. Rodrigo lose the ball. And now Uruguay. With Araujo. And Cáceres. Now is Olivera. Jan Couto. Recovering. Marquinhos. And again with Couto. The ball. With Magalhães now. Gabriel. Carlo Augusto. Send it back to Magalhães. And this is Marquinhos. Again with Magalhães, now with Neymar, and back to Ederson. 
Marquinhos again. Guimarães, Bruno. Marquinhos. Back with Ederson. Playing now with Magalhães. Uruguay. With a high pressure. Against the defenders of Brazil. Rodrigo taking the ball, playing with Neymar. Back to Magalhães, Gabriel. Delivering the ball to Marquinhos. And Marquinhos, another time with Gabriel. This is Gabriel Magalhães. Bruno Guimaraes. The ball to Marquinhos. Back to Ederson. Darwin Nunes with the pressure. And Uruguay recovering the ball. But Brazil again with Casemiro. And the foul against Casemiro, against the captain of Brazil, is going to be a free kick for the away team. Here in Montevideo. The capital of Uruguay. The look of Marcelo Bielsa, who also was a coach on the national team of Chile. This is the third national team in these Conmebol qualifiers who Marcelo Bielsa managing. And the ball with Magalhães. Neymar against Darwin Nunez. Neymar escaping from the pressure and now sending the ball back to Ederson. Neymar. Magalhães. Brazil can't cross the midfield line. Three minutes. Only in the side of Brazil, and now Uruguay recovering the ball. Araujo crossing for Oliveira. Now to Ugarte, and now with Nandes. De la Cruz back to Nandes. Nandes make the effort. To reach the ball and play with Araujo. Oliveira sending the ball. A long pass. The ball to the box. Looking for Dangui Nunez. Araujo. And Brazil. Now take control of the ball. Marquinhos. Send the ball away. Cáceres. Ugarte. And the ball belongs to Uruguay now. Nandes. Belistri again with Nandes. Passing the ball to Araujo. Crossing to find the other Araujo. The number 13. Uruguay has to Araujo. This lineup. Number 13 is Maximiliano Araujo, who attacks in the left side. And the defender, the number four, is Ronald Araujo. Marquinhos. Back to Ederson. Ederson. Finding Bruno Guimaraes. And Guimaraes with Marquinhos again. Five minutes of the game, scoreless. Uruguay and Brazil. In this four match for both of them in these qualifiers. Marquinhos. Try to find De Jesus. Allí Gabriel. Marquinhos and now the ball to Carlo Gusto 
Neymar. The fans of who are asking for a fault in the midfield. Vinicius now. Great move. And Ugarte. Here is the fault who the people ask it for. And the referee says that the show must go on. Seven minutes in the first half. Fernando Diniz, who is also the coach of Fluminense. The team of the Brazilian League who is going to play the final of the Libertadores Cup. Conmebol Libertadores Cup against Boca Juniors, the next four of November in Rio de Janeiro. Valverde with the ball, open to the right side with Nandes. It's not common that a coach of a national team also be a coach for a local team. Like is Fernando Diniz in this case. Darwin Nunez with the header. And now it seems to be a fault, yes. Against Gabriel de Jesus. It's gonna be a free kick for Brazil. The fault was made by Oliveira. And Brazil controlling the ball now. Carlo Augusto, Gabriel Magalhães, back to Ederson. The pressure of Uruguay is intense, and another foul now, this time against Carlo Augusto. It's gonna be another free kick for Brazil. On the left side of his defense this time. Mangala is playing with Ederson. And Brazil now. Moving the ball with Marquinhos. This is Gabriel Mangala. Again with Marquinhos. Open to Jan Couto. And almost lose the ball. Rodrigo, Neymar, oh, by the nutmeg, and moves on, Neymar, nice move by the number 10 of Brazil, the superstar of the modern football, Neymar, and it's going to be a yellow card, the first booked player, in only 10 minutes of the game, Ronald Araujo, the number four, That tackle against Gabriel de Jesus. So he's already booked Araujo. Only 10 minutes in the first half. And now the referee Alexis Herrera. I think he's a member of the staff of Bielsa of the Uruguayan team so one player in the field bucket and also a member of the staff Magalhães playing with Vinicius. Andes intercepting and now Magalhães. Another ball sending to Vinicius. Too long. Gonna be goal kick for the goalkeeper Rochet. I 
think this is the first ball of the game who touch Roger now the Uruguayan players asking for a foul and Vinicius also asked for a foul but the referee says the show most go on and it's gonna be a goal kick for Uruguay no foul in this one against De La Cruz and neither in this action of Vinicius here is now Vinicius dive in the area good goal for the referee and now Roget the goalkeeper who plays in the Brazilian league in the international of Porto Alegre here the ball in the attack of Uruguay. Pelistri can reach it, and it's going to be a draw in for Brazil in the hands of Carlo Augusto. Thirteen minutes of the first half. Neymar playing with Rodrigo. Rodrigo with space to go on. Now playing with Vinicius. And Vinicius lose the ball. Uruguay now controlling the ball with Valverde. Araujo. Cáceres and another time with Araujo this is Nandes Ugarte De La Cruz asking for a fault the referee says the show must go on and the ball now to Dargo Núñez and Couto, Jean Couto sending the ball away it's going to be a throw in for Uruguay Oliveira with the ball in his hands. Ugarte. Try to send the ball to the box. And was rejected by a header of Marquinhos. Magala is playing with Marquinhos. He comes Guimaraes to touch the ball and leaves with Magalhaes again with Marquinhos. Now open to Jan Couto. And back to Ederson, the goalkeeper of the Manchester City. In the Premier League. Here Gabriel Magalhaes who also play in the Premier League for the Arsenal. Marquinhos Casemiro Neymar again with Marquinhos Rodrigo Marquinhos Neymar Magalhaes with Marquinhos back to Ederson Brazil seems not to find the way to entering the Uruguayan field Magalhaes now. Neymar. And the pass is no good for the number 10. It's going to be a throw in in the hands of Nandes for Uruguay. 16 minutes, a scoreless game in Montevideo. Ugarte. The ball is for Oliveira. Now Araujo. Back to Oliveira. Valverde. Cáceres. And Oliveira again. 
Araujo. Trying to find Nunez. Nunez against Magalais and the Brazilian defender sent the ball out. The draw in is gonna be for Uruguay. Nathan Nandes. The number eight. In charge of this draw in. Offense, the ball to De La Cruz, Núñez, Pelistri escaping, and that is it. The field was ended, and Pelistri goes outside with the ball, so it's going to be for Brazil. Already Marquinhos with the ball. Gabriel, Neymar, Rodrigo, and Rodrigo lose the ball and the game stops because Neymar is in the field, in the ground. Let's see. That's a little touch in the left leg of Neymar, who seems already recovered. And now Knight Hernandez with some trouble with the fourth referee, who not moves. And no make space to Hernandez. Execute the drawing, the ball to Nunez, and again it's gonna be another throw in Fernandez and for Uruguay. Pelistri now losing the ball against Vinicius. Vinicius and Casemiro. Neymar. Couto. But it's not good uh, pass for Neymar. Now Uruguay and the referee is making a call. This fall of Couto. Who takes a uh, Araujo off his shirt and it's gonna be a free kick. This is the first free kick. Promising for Uruguay. And the first kick promising in the game. So let's see what happened here. De La Cruz in charge. 20 minutes in the first half. The ball to the box. Casemiro rejected with the header. And now Neymar. Trying to make a counter-attack. The ball to Rodrigo. And the referee makes the call. And Vinicius continues to play. But the referee already blows the whistle. So it's going to be a free kick in the midfield for Brazil and another booked player in Uruguay this time Darwin Núñez De La Cruz asking for a foul but I think he's diving in the area in the box and later Darwin Núñez with the tackle against Rodrigo strong tackle by Núñez so seems to be right the yellow card second booked player in Uruguay and in the game Brazil 
still with no Bucas players. Uruguay already have Darwin Núñez and Ronald Araujo. Magala is with the ball. Gabriel De Jesus now. Again Magalais, and this is Marquinhos. Jan Couto. Playing. Couto. And now, sending the ball back to Magalais, Marquinhos. Neymar. Oh, what an advent. Beautiful. By Rodrigo. And Valverde makes his own nutmeg. So, two beautiful plays, huh? And the foul later by Guimarães. It's going to be a free kick for Uruguay. Almost 23 minutes of the first half here in Montevideo. In this Tuesday, 17th of October, with five games on these qualifiers of Cormebol. Maturini in Venezuela. Venezuela once against Chile. 3 to 0. 3. And now, great W for Venezuela. Here in Montevideo, scoreless game between Uruguay and Brazil. Ederson. Neymar moving the ball to the left side with Magalhães, again with Neymar. Casemiro can't reach the ball. And now Pelistri recovering for Uruguay. Nandes back to Araujo. Speed up and send the ball into the front for Darwin Núñez. But Jan Couto. Intercept and plays with the goalkeeper Ederson. And now Gabriel Magalais finding a Casemiro with space. Now Vinicius, the ball to the box. Let's see Rodrigo Neymar seems to be in offside, but yes, now with the Usual delay. Neymar was in offside, so it's going to be now a free kick for Uruguay. The goalkeeper, Rochette, in charge of this free kick. Ball with Roget Araujo another local team who wants Paraguay against Bolivia in Asunción one and out for Paraguay and here Uruguay looking for the opening score with Núñez Núñez, Marquinhos with the defensive play and Vinicius now Casemiro almost lose the ball but Brazil now controlling the situation and controlling a little bit more the rhythm of the game 
Magalais. The ball to Vinicius. This is Gabriel de Jesus. Oh, great play. The ball for Gabriel de Jesus. But between three and four defenders of Uruguay. Can shot to the target and now Vinicius again de Jesus. Rodrigo. Send the ball out. It's gonna be a goal kick for Uruguay. The referee takes to Vinicius and not more dive. No more diving. No more simulation. Rochette with the ball. Send it to the other side. Núñez. De la Cruz. Valverde. Let's see what happened. Now, oh, it's not a good pass for Araujo. Oliveira asking for that pass, but the execution of Araujo was bad. So it's going to be a goal kick for Brazil already. Magala is with the ball. Finding Guimaraes, Bruno Guimaraes. And this is Carlo Augusto. Again with Guimaraes back to Rodrigo Vinicius. Gabriel Magalaes. Marquinhos. Driving the ball and sending a long pass to Jan Couto. The ball to the box and Rochette. The goalkeeper of Uruguay already with the ball in his hands. Risking in the way out the Uruguayan team. Pelistri. The ball touch last in Carlo Augusto so it's gonna be a throw in for Uruguay a scoreless game in almost 13 minutes and this taking time to make the throw in now Casemiro intercepted the ball. Nice play with Neymar. Now Nandes recovering. And trying to find Araujo. But the ball now in the power of Ederson. Neymar. Nice touch. Nice pass to Casemiro. Casemiro. With Rodrigo, and this is Vinicius sending the ball to the box. Araujo with the header, rejecting. Carlo Augusto. Gabriel Magalaes. And Marquinhos leaves the ball to Jan Couto. Again with Marquinhos. And this is Magalaes. Gabriel Magalais, the player who most touched the ball in this first half. And Vinicius trying to make a luxury play. But bad, is bad execution for Vinicius. So Nandes with the defensive play and later. Uno Guimaraes. 
Continue to go out. Rodrigo Araujo with a header. Nandes. Continue to go away. by Martinez. The free kick is for Paraguay. But not yet. Not yet. Who are they? Playing with Nandes. De la Cruz. And the ball. With Araujo now. Ugarte. De la Cruz. Pelistri Hernández. The ball to the box and to the hands of Ederson. A quick play for Ederson. Brazil. Attacking now with Vinicius. And Vinicius. Moving the ball to one side to another. And receiving this tackle by Nandes. Magalaes. Marquinhos and Yankouto. Send the ball back another time to Ederson. Ugarte. Oliveira. Araujo. Crossing. And Casemiro with the head. Playing with the goalkeeper. Now Vinicius Pini Jr. This is Magalaes. And then Marquinhos. And now Rodrigo. De Jesus. And seems to be a foul, yes. From Ugarte. Against De Jesus. And now the promising free kick is for Brazil. It's the first free kick promising for Brazil. Let's see how it ends. Almost 35 minutes in the first half. No shots on target until now. The goalkeepers like spectators until now. Let's see. Neymar in charge of the ball. Four men of Uruguay in the wall. I think that Neymar is sending across. Neymar, the ball to the box, and Marquinhos try to try to find a teammate, but have to send the ball back. And this is Carlo Gusto playing with Guimaraes. Neymar, Vinicius. Receiving another foul from Uarte this time. What a scream by Vinicius after this foul of Uarte. A 
scream louder, huh? Vinicius, who seems already recovered. The referee uh, from Venezuela, Alexis Herrera, who already booked two players of Uruguay and known players in Brazil. Neymar. And the ball is now in the hands of Roget. Valverde. The captain of Uruguay. Trying to find Pelistri. Pelistri can control the ball and the throw in is going to be for Brazil. Bielsa screaming. And I think Bielsa is happy right now. Nandes. Nandes. With a cross. And Ederson controlling the situation. is asking more pressure like in the first minutes of the game Magalais with Ederson and Ederson now with Marquinhos but seems to be the players of Uruguay already tired Fall now by De La Cruz. Rodrigo find Vinicius Hernandez. Dive to make the cut and send the ball out. Carlo Augusto. Rodrigo and now Magalais. Gabriel. Casemiro, Neymar with the chest. And now with a header of Marquinhos, the ball. It's in the Uruguayan field. And Neymar makes a foul. That's why it's going to be a free kick for Uruguay. Another foul this time from Vinicius. Uruguay continues with the attack. Pelistri, De La Cruz. The ball to Valverde, Ugarte, and back to Cáceres. A scoreless game. Almost 40 minutes. And the foul now is from Neymar. Against Araujo. Ugarte playing with the number two, Cáceres. This is Olivera. Olivera. Guimaraes with the cut. And now Vinicius, Carlo Augusto, and the ball back to Magalais. And with Ederson. Plays with Marquinhos. The last one he touched the ball was Araujo, so the drawing is for Brazil. Neymar, the ball is in the air. Cáceres sent the ball out with the header. No, the referee takes that. The last one in touch it. As a player. With dress in yellow. A player from Brazil. The draw in in favor of Uruguay. In the left side.
Oliveira to make it. No find any teammates. Now with Darwin Nunez. Again with Oliveira. Araujo. Speed up. The ball to the box. And yes. Darwin Nunez. Opening the score with a header. Uruguay takes the lead here in Montevideo. The first shot on target and it's a goal. Darwin Nunez, the number nine, the striker of the Liverpool in the Premier League. The striker of the national team of Uruguay. And, well, let's see if the bar looks that position, that initial position of Araujo, who makes a great play in the left side. Left Marquinhos behind, send the ball to the middle of the box, and Darwin Nunez with a header. Makes the first goal of the match. Open the score. And let's see what is the decision of the bar. Checking the goal. Wait for it. Araujo. A great move. And Darwin Nunez. Sending the ball to the back of the net. With that header. Let's wait for the confirmation. And it's a goal, yes. Uruguay takes the lead in Montevideo, winning 1 0 now with the goal by Darwin Nunez. Now the foul against Neymar. 43 minutes of the game. In the first attack, in the first. Shot on target. Uruguay makes the goal. And now Neymar seems to be in pain. I think it's the, it's the left leg, the left knee with injury. Let's see. Let's see, it's necessary the medical assistant. Yes, sir. Now, with some indications to Araujo, Hernandez, and Nunez makes the difference for now. With the only goal in this game. Uruguay is winning now. Here is again Oliveira. Ball to Araujo. Great play by Araujo. Escaping of the defender of Marquinhos. And sending the ball to the head of Darwin Nunez. shot with the head impossible to the goalkeeper Ederson and the celebration with the fans well let's see the situation of Neymar Charlison already yes I, it's gonna be a substitution no? what a shame is out of the game one of the best players of the world no longer continue in this game because I think it's an injury in the left knee well piercing their eyes eh? 
Seems to be deal is seems to be a big deal. Neymar leaves the field crying. And with the assistance of the doctors of Brazil and Rick Charlison. Is ready to make the substitution. Another look to Neymar, who seems to be in pain. And it's no longer in the field. Neymar is out to Brazil in this moment with 10 players in the field. 